Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna. If you're new here, I do makeup reviews, makeup tutorials, skincare, anything beauty related. I got you covered. Today I have a cute little headband because, <laughs> to be honest with you, I put a treatment in my hair. I did grapeseed oil and rosemary oils because I am trying to get my scalp under control. It's always flaky. I have tried Nizarol. I have tried 2% Ketoconzole. I have tried Tar. I have tried Tisa, I've tried everything, so I'm trying to go with the natural route, and I didn't wash out my hair very good, and I'm still flaky. So, this is just to hide it, just keeping it real with you guys. Today's video is a request, and it's going to be my top skincare products, as well as answering a couple of questions that I got. So, if that's something you're interested in, definitely keep on watching, and without further ado, let's get started. Alright, some of the skincare products that I have absolutely been loving absolutely reach for all the time we're gonna talk about right now first one I want to talk about is from ZL skin and it's their garden glow this is what it looks like so the woman who made it her name is Amanda she's a local Jersey girl so you don't have to support um, she sent me this and this is actually it's a facial spray that is meant to be used like post-workout but it can also be used before makeup and after makeup. What I have been using this for is <laughs> I spray my face, put my mask on, and then later on, like in be like after a couple of hours, like I'll spray it again because the ingredients in here are really good. Um, if you are acne prone, this is gonna be helpful. It does have like a high vitamin C. Um, it's called yuzu. That's one of the ingredients. It has tremella extract, which is going to help to like absorb moisture and keep your skin nice and moisturized. Um, it does have propolis in it, which is like antibacterial that comes from honey. And it smells amazing. And the mist is good on this. So it's like, watch. So I did my makeup already. I can go over. It feels nice. It feels refreshing. Um, if you go to their website, I will link it down below. And no, I am i don't have an affiliate link or anything. But if you sign up for it, you do get 10% off. I think it's your first order. So this has been a huge lifesaver, especially now that I have to wear a mask for hours. Um, I'm loving that. Second is my Heritage Store Rose Oil. It's The weather is getting cold now. Like... In Jersey, it's drier, it's cold. I don't know about you guys, whenever I start to get cold, like my, I don't know why, my wrists, like they start to get really dry and itchy. So that's when I know I'm like, okay, I really gotta step this up. Um, I use my Heritage Rose Oil. I'll put a little bit, like in the morning, if I do this, or like I splash water, I'll come and like, I'll put some rose oil all over my face. Thin layer because the next product that you, it's, you're not new to it. If you know me, you follow me, you already know what I'm gonna say. The Jones Road Miracle Cream. It's it's a very emollient rich cream. Um, this goes on top. This is like my daily, I gotta use it every day. I usually use it at night too, like a thicker amount. Um, I'm like halfway through this one. I go through these like pretty quick. I love that. I Whatever makeup I put over my face, granted without me overdoing it, like I gotta do like a thin layer. It just looks glowy, like that shine kind of goes through, and my makeup looks so good. Um, so yeah, but aside from its amazing ingredients, my makeup looks good. After that would be the eye cream. It's very lightweight, again, from Jones Road. Um, it's very lightweight. It absorbs onto my like skin quickly, and it doesn't mess with my concealer. Like, I don't look overly cakey. I, yeah, I don't look overly cakey or anything. Um, you only need a little bit though. So if you're gonna use concealer, don't don't use too much of this. But what I like about it is like the other um, use that I have for it. Now that again, it's getting dry. My lips get chapped. My kids, their lips get chapped really quick because they're licking their lips. They're cold outside or whatever. If I get this and I just put like a thick layer like on their lips, it fixes it after like a day. Like you do it a couple times and boom, it's fixed. Um. I have to mention this because my hands looked disgusting the other day and my cuticles were really bad and I was using my hippie stick again from Jones Road um, and I was taking it and I just kept applying it on my cuticles and it was a serious game changer because I don't know about you guys but my cuticles sometimes get like real like stringy and it's just nasty. Now I have 
two products that I use for like treatment. If you follow my old videos, you know that I was huge on The Ordinary. I still love The Ordinary. I just need to use less of it now because I feel like I've gotten my skin to the best where it's going to be unless I go see like a dermatologist and get like, you know, like treatments and stuff like real, um, what do you call those? Like chemical peels and stuff like that. But I know myself, I'm not going to... Wait, let me answer that first question. Um, somebody asked like, do you ever do like chemical peels and like facials and everything? I've gotten a facial twice from Massage Envy and I don't and I'm not like trying to talk down about Massage Envy like estheticians or anything I I like my facials my skin was like really pretty it was glowing but um I think for my skin concerns that wasn't the place to go I think I have to go to a dermatologist or like you know a an esthetician that works with doctors um, but I know myself I'm not going to do it and I'm not going to keep up with it so I think like right now, my skin is at the best it's going to be as far as like my keratosis polaris, um, seborrheic dermatitis. Um, yeah, so the two products that I do use, I still love, and this thing is amazing, I would recommend it to everybody, is the lactic acid from um, The Ordinary. This is amazing. This is 10%. I put this on and like it really does make a difference like my I can see I can feel smoother texture on like my my jawline on my cheeks like this will do it for me if I do this like once or twice a week big difference the other product that I like to use is the overnight exfoliating treatment and this is from good molecules this has actually kind of taken the place of the ordinary's peeling solution I got lazy and <laughs> I stopped putting it on my face and waiting the 10 minutes when I found this and I got this months ago, um, I just had to put this on my face and I would go to sleep and wake up and like, it was kind of the same uh, result. So that's why I opted for this because I'll be honest with you, I'm lazy sometimes. I I don't do like the, the masks as often as I should and this kind of just gets the job done. Um, so somebody asked me too, have I gotten fillers? Um, no, I have not gotten fillers. I've never gotten fillers. I've never gotten Botox. It's not something that I ever want to do either. Um, number one, I am afraid of needles. I hate needles. Like to the point where when I get my blood drawn or I get like a, a shot or whatever, like I look away because I just don't like it. Um, I personally don't want to do fillers or Botox or anything like that. I'm okay with the aging process. I'm 33. I know, like, I'm not very old, and I'm not very young either. Like, I'm kind of like, I'm getting up there in age. I'll be 34 in January. I just don't want to get anything injected into my face. Um, I don't like it. I have a daughter, too, that, you know, she looks up to me, and I barely even wear, like, a lot of makeup. Like, this is, this is a lot of makeup for me. Like, if she were to see me right now, she'd be like, Mom, you have so much on. I don't want her growing up thinking something's wrong with you, and I'm not saying that if you get Botox or anything, that something's wrong with you and that you have to correct it. I just want... How can I rephrase this? I want my daughter to grow up knowing that she is naturally beautiful and the aging process, getting older, is a beautiful thing because that is what I genuinely believe. Um... Yeah, I would say the only way that I would ever get any kind of, like, cosmetic procedure done is if I had to, you know, for whatever reason, like, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's not something that I want to do. It's not something that I would, like, what is it called? I wouldn't do elective surgery or, I'm probably saying the wrong thing. It, it's just not for me. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I've gotten emails before where people would make comments about, like, you know, the lines under my eyes, or, you know, how do you fix that, or how do you, whatever, and, like, I never even noticed the line, like, I, I noticed them, I'm not saying I never noticed them, but they're not a big enough issue for me to be like, oh, I have to fix this, you know what I mean? Um, what else? Yeah, so no fillers, if my face is fuller looking, it's, <laughs> that's because I definitely need to lose a good, like, 30 pounds. And don't, don't say, oh, no, no, Anna, you're fine, you're fine. No, 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 like, I, I know I need to lose the extra 30 pounds. I've gained weight during um, quarantine. It's funny, I started off good where I was, like, exercising and everything. And then, like, I don't know, I guess too much wine or too much, you know, picky food or, or indulging too much. But, you know, that's why, like, this is all kind of fuller because I've just gained weight. So that's pretty much it. 
Um, I hope I'm not forgetting anything. Yeah, those are the main things um, that I use. Like, I have to use them, have to use them. And the last thing I actually just remembered, and I don't have it on me right now. I do slugging at night, so I do the CeraVe um, healing ointment, and it's like a Vaseline texture, especially now that it's very cold. I'll do my moisturizer at night, and then I will seal my face with that, and that is a must for me now because my skin has gotten so dry. So dry. And that's been a huge lifesaver, and I'll wake up like with my skin soft and everything. So, I think that's everything as far as skin. Um, if you have any other questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Um, and yeah, and please, I hope I didn't affect anybody with, you know, my decision to not do anything to my face um, or my body. It's just a personal choice. And yeah. Alright guys.